What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of season 4 of Haikyuu. This is the second episode of the second part of season 4. And I am ready to go once again. Last episode, we did see the twins emulate, emulate the monster quick. Now, was it a was it a fluke? Did they just go for it, see if it works, or is this something that they practice? Um, I really do think it's something that they just wanted to do as a surprise or whatever. So let's just try it and see if it happens because this dude over here is is um, regarded as the best in the country. He's the best setter in the country. I don't know his name, so don't ask me. Um, I just know he's the twin. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like some of you guys out there, you study these names, <laughs> you know. Uh, um, a character have to be around for a while. You know what I'm saying? For a good while for me to really, you gotta be on screen for a long time. Maybe by the end of this match, I'll know their names. But for now, we call them twins. So the one with the with the orange hair, not the one with the orange and black. I think it's orange and black. Is it orange and black? I, if, if I think so. I, remember. I think it's yellow and black, not orange and black. I think it's yellow and black here. He's the the all-rounder he can do everything he's like a kageyama on steroids so <laughs> so yeah so i'm looking forward to see what they're going to do and of course i'm gonna have my review afterwards of this episode you guys need to remind me every week when this i don't know which day they did the, the episodes drop the, for all i know the third one is probably out by now because today's wednesday but anyways i'm gonna do this and i'll see you guys for the review Alright, so that was Haikyuu, Season 4, Episode 15, I think, right? Episode 15, definitely enjoyed that a lot to see the match progressing, seems like we're about to close out the first set. Um, I wonder if this is the only match, uh, match we're going to see until the end of the season, or whatever there is that possibility so i don't know i don't know but they seem to be taking their time getting through this match because it looks like this one is going to be intense so from what i can see inata is is improving throughout the match and i like that i like the fact that he's improving while the match is going on i like i like that fact a lot um he's he's thinking and you know sometimes he needs to be reined back in you know what i'm saying but but um for the most part he's his concentration is good kageyama i don't want to talk about him because kageyama is basically he's a robot let's just <laughs> let's just call a spade a spade kageyama is a robot okay this man, you know, it's been a while since we've seen Kageyama lose his cool. And I think it's not only is he, I think it's, it's his newfound willingness to learn. Even though you're already a genius at this volleyball stuff, you know what I'm saying? I still see that within him where he wants to learn. He wants to know what's what's next who can i help being able to play with the team instead of concentrating on doing certain things he has to do what's best for the team making the right decisions even if it ends up that that it gets blocked still have to make that right decision you see asahi trying to get some some points in there trying to learn things he did a faint i don't know if it was on purpose or he just said let me try this to see because the thing about karasuno is that they're a very unpredictable team to play against. There's nothing predictable about them except you know what they can do. You just don't know when they're gonna do certain things. And that's where the the unpredictability come from. You know, so I really do enjoy the fact that they take the time out to kind of 
um, shell out, right? What needs to be shelled out. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the the fact of the matter is, when it comes on to the other team, they're pretty, they're really good too. They have a genius setter also. You know what I'm saying? Which anybody would probably say he's better than Kageyama. Kageyama is my guy. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm rooting for Karasuna, of course. But this other team, they're, 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 they're good. They're good. They're good. They're one of the best. They're one of the top schools. They would make it to, you know what I'm saying, um, the Nationals if they weren't good. They obviously are good, especially the two brothers, you know, the twin brothers. They're really good. And to see them pull off that quick, it's not as refined as I've said in my last review of the show. I said it doesn't look like it's as refined, but it's yet to be seen to see how they're going to move forward. But I think Hinata is going to be the X factor in this match. And it's not just because, oh, he's the main protagonist, whatever, or one of the Because in my eyes, you know, overall, he is, but at the same time, in my eyes, Karasuno is the main protagonist of the show. For me, the whole school, the entire school, they wouldn't spend... The, the thing about it is that one of the things that I enjoy about this anime that differentiated from so many different ones is that it's about the team. It's not about an individual. So, you know, everybody has kind of had their arcs, but the reason why, you know, we're more like the story is kind of surrounding Hinata is because he's the first character that was introduced in the show of wanting to become a volleyball player and being undersized and not tall and, and to prove that you don't have to be tall to play volleyball which is very true it's not a sport that you, I mean in any sport that you would say okay you need to be tall to have an advantage you know what I'm saying? It's not to say that you've never had short people play the sport. You know what I'm saying? I.E. basketball. You know what I mean? You have your Muggsy Bogues. You know what I'm saying? Um, plenty of short players. Nate Robinson. I think Nate Robinson was 5'9", if I'm not mistaken. And he was dunking on people. Crazy hops. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I think one time Nate Robinson grabbed the rebound over Shaq. <laughs> I mean, that was crazy to see, you know, and then you have people like Muggsy Bogues. I think Muggsy Bogues won the, um, won the, 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 the slam dunk contest, if I'm not mistaken, you know, so we really do have some short players that was in the NBA that really shined. It doesn't happen a whole lot, you know, because mainly if you're short, that's not, you know, it, it, it has to be something that really like in your mind where you say that's my dream i want to play basketball i don't care if i'm short i'm going for it whatever whatever gotta be nifty you know what i'm saying so um they so they that's what they're building the story around and i'm digging it you know but for me it's just like it's a team effort everything about this anime is about it's more about team than an individual. Some individuals do get to shine because Hinata is always going to stand out because he sticks out like a freaking um, sore thumb so much because he's short and because of the stuff that he can do alongside Kageyama. So he's always going to stick out as the quote unquote main protagonist of the story. So he's never going to be forgotten or fall into, you know, the background of the anime because he's always going to stand out as the, as that guy you know what i'm saying so it's always good i hopefully i really hope that he gets to, to play birdman that's that's the match i want to see them I, I i hope that he gets to play birdman or we get to see a full match between somebody like nekoma and the birdman you know what i'm saying like something like that i want to see one of these teams play a really really good match with it where they get to shine without karasuno you know what i'm saying being in the mix you know um so those are my desires for the show really you know and you already know what i want to see nationals finals to be it should be nekoma versus karasuno that's what i want to see we might not get that but 
that's what i want to see but in any case thank you guys so much for tuning in as always i enjoyed the episode hope you did too tell me what you thought of the episode when you watch it of course and please guys remind me put in the comment section let me know when these episodes air and when they're out so i can get these episodes er out to you guys early earlier because i don't know i think it's i think they air on friday i could look it up my damn self but it is what it is let me know anyways you know what i'm saying because i might forget because when i'm when i sit down to do reactions i'm reacting to plenty of shows at once so by the time i get up if haiku is not the last thing that i record i'm not going to remember to go and look that up by the time i'm done recording you know what i'm saying so in any case let me know like the video leave a comment it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out Peace.